started the project in 2013. I have not been home now for four years and eight months. I've traveled 194,000 kilometers and I've reached 147 countries so far. So the interesting thing about not using the airplane is that no one in history has been able to travel to every single country in the world completely without flying. The form of transportation that I use within this project is uh, public transportation. It's primarily buses, I go with trains, I go with different ships and boats and ferries, and sometimes I travel on board container ships. So the problems that I generally face are tied into logistics or bureaucracy. So if we say bureaucracy, it could be a visa or a document or a travel permit that I cannot get. And if it's logistics, then it's uh, perhaps an island that's far away or an area of the planet where there's some sort of conflict and I need to find my way through. In terms of problems in Kuwait, I think I haven't really had any. The main problem here has maybe been the heat because I come from a country that's a little bit colder. I'm a foreigner and I'm a foreigner in every country I go to except my own country. And usually uh, taxi drivers, they can, they're a different type of, of taxi drivers. Some are good, some are bad, but the, many of them, they're looking for an opportunity. And when they see a foreigner, then they know I don't know the price, I don't know the distance, I don't know the traffic, I don't know the time. So he sees an opportunity and he's trying to push me to take a taxi from the border to Kuwait City which is maybe two hours driving, and uh, he wanted 100 US dollars for this. But in the beginning, he didn't even say the price. He just said, get in the taxi, get in. But I've been traveling for a long time, and I've been negotiating with many taxi drivers and other people. So I say, no, I want to know the price, but he doesn't want to give me the price. And then finally, he says the price $100, and I say, this is too much. My budget is very, very small. It's impossible. He says, no, it's the only way, no other way. And then uh, finally, I discovered there's a bus leaving. So the taxi driver, he becomes very angry, saying, no bus, no bus, no bus, get in the taxi, get in the taxi. Mm -hmm. 